In today's video, we're gonna test it out. Holy Land. I think that's how you pronounce it. Mm. Microphones. Manual and stickies. Ta da! We're going to compare the audio experience to very popular microphones like Rold, me, DJI, Mic, and well, this is a Sennheiser, which you hear me right now, and it's a very, very nice microphone. So, at the moment, we're on the Sennheiser. Let me switch to the DJI. This is how it sounds from the DJI mic, DJI 1.0 microphone. Rode Wireless Me microphone. Rode Wireless Me it's one of the best sounding, very rich sound microphone, wireless microphone in the world. And now for the necklace, you can hear me nicely. You see the sound difference. What I noticed, the sound quality is not rich. It's not like from the road. But road, road, whatever you want. I don't know how to, how to pronounce it correctly. It's heavy. You see, it's, it's, it's fatiguing your shirt. It's uh, it's too big. And if you if you connect the lavalier mic to it, the sound quality goes to the brain. DJI is not that heavy, but it's something in the middle between usability and quality. This one is between those. A little bit of usability. Well, a lot of usability, and audio is okay. Very bassy, warm sounding. So there you go. But it is a usability key. You see, all you need to do is connect the receiver to a smartphone. Most smartphones are automated. You don't need to set anything. Just start the recording and there you go. Some of them you have to press the external microphone in the camera menu. Like the, I don't have it on me at the moment. Motorola X50 Ultra has that feature. But Vivo, Samsung, it's automated. How cool is that? What if we go to a different room? So much echo in this room. I'm talking to the built-in microphones to the camera and it sounds... Ooh, and it's on. What a difference. The difference is amazing. You still hear a little bit of echo, but wow, that it's such a difference. It, it means that it will perform flawlessly in such an environment. You see, Rode, DJI will still get that echo for this room. This one is killing it. I like it a lot. All right, range test. This is a Vivo, it's the finest smartphone in the world. X Ultra, of course. Front to device, 10 meters, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, 13, 15, 15, 20 meters. Let's say it's 30 meters, 30, maybe 40, 40 or 50 meters. What's the point? You barely see me in the camera anyway. Okay, going, going, coming. Someone wants to steal my shit. Let me go back. All right, 10 meters. 10 meters and like five meters question is is it still eh, naughty boy naughty boy he was he was on the camera ah. so what did we notice up to 40 meters if you back to the receiver camera and 50 meters plus if you front to the receiver camera also very little wind noise without the dead cat and that is great for vlogging, just like that. How cool is that? And I barely even noticed that it's on my... Conclusion, this device is extremely useful. When I'm using a an, an receiver for the camera, then I don't have to touch the receiver. I can control it with the mic. When I am turn on the mic, it will turn on, on the camera. 
and when I'm not using it, when I'm turning it off, it will turn off on the camera. That is extremely useful. Also, the receiver for the smartphone, when I'm checking the footage, I don't have to unplug it from the device. Also, super useful, which is not the case in any other brand. But, sound-wise, it sounds muddy, bassy. It's not a rich sound. It feels like the noise cancellation is on all the time, but it isn't. Because, uh, I mean, I can turn on the noise cancellation, but it will completely... Let me, let me turn it on. Press it, and now in the noise cancellation, it will destroy the audio completely. It's un unusable. Don't, don't Just use the dead cat. And also, when you use both of them, at the same time for the podcast or something like that, then the stream will still be in mono. So, one track. That's also not great. For audio enthusiasts. But I think this design, this device, is for something else. It's a bit different. Like in the GoPro, in the camera world, GoPro doesn't have autofocus. GoPro... It's not great in the low light conditions. And also microphones and speakers in GoPro are eh, mediocre. But everyone using it, and in some scenarios, performs excellent. It's the same thing for the microphones. For some scenarios, like live streaming outside, like your favorite YouTuber Speed, which is using those uh, microphones, exactly the same mics, it performs excellent. And I think that's what the design for. This is it. Of course, if you want a rich sound, go with a road or maybe something even more expensive. If you don't like mono, you can go with a stereo with a much bigger mic. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, this is a stereo mic. Battery life, I'm not sure because I'm not recording for hours and hours. And I didn't charge the case at all. And in a, in a week now, I still have a half of the battery. So, yeah, pretty good. That's all I have. Thanks for watching and see you next video. And remember, it has a lot of small parts like this magnet and you can easily lose them. So, be careful. And they are not expensive, so. Okay. Whatever. See you next video, link in the description.